wide screen. Look, do you want to see a menu or what? All right, let's negotiate. What's the soup du jour de Soup, soup of the day. You got a choice of punish like blood or cream of kidney. Beautiful, beautiful. Kick me in a kidney. You got it. So, any uh, oyster crackers on your sea bag? Oh, no! <laughs> All out. All right, what are the special today? Spread out your options. You got your deep fried gizzard. Fabulous. Calves brain, oh, okra. Tell me more. And pickles deep feet. Pig's feet, I love it. Put me down for a quadruped. You should say so. Any sprouts to go on those feet? Iceberg. Mm, so be it. I don't understand what's going on today, Holly. It's really weird. What? Why? Like, like, right from the time I caught up. What is it? Well, what's the story? Just for an example. This morning, I stopped off at a drugstore to buy myself some aspirin. And this is at a big drugstore, right? <laughs> right? Right. So I go up to the counter. The guy says to me, what can I do for you? I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. The guy gives me this funny look, and he says, oh, we don't have any of that, ma'am. I said to him, you're a drugstore. Do you <laughs> have any aspirin? <laughs> oh, they have buffering? Yeah. Advil? Yeah. Extra strength paracetamol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no aspirin? No. Wow. Wow. And that's the kind of weird thing that's been happening all day. It's like I go to the newsstand to buy the daily news. The guy never even heard of it. Well, could have been a misunderstanding. I asked every place. Nobody had the news. I had to read the... The New Jersey Fishing Guide. Oh. But this, I go into a deli lunchtime to buy myself a sandwich. The guy says they don't have any pastrami. What kind of deli doesn't have any pastrami? I don't know, was it a Korean deli? This was a culture from Jerusalem deli. Oh, we don't have any of that, ma'am. He said to me, have some tongue. Mm. I just got into a cab. The guy says he wouldn't take me to 56th Street. He offered to take me to Newark instead. <laughs> Looking at me like I'm an alien to some breath. Yes. Oh, oh, I don't go there, ma'am. Now, take a breath. <laughs> Wait, do you know what's going on? Sure. What is it? What's happening to me? Don't panic. You're in a Philadelphia. I'm in a what? A Philadelphia, <laughs> that's all. Okay, but I'm in New York. Yes, physically. You're in New York, but... Metaphysically, you're in Philadelphia. I never heard of this. Well, you see, inside uh, what we know as reality are these like black holes or pockets. Well, if you fall into one, you run up against exactly the kind of shit that's been happening to you all day. But why? Well, because in a Philadelphia, no matter what you ask for, you can't get it. You ask for something, they're not gonna have it. You wanna do something, it ain't gonna get done. You wanna go somewhere? Yeah, I can't get that from you. <laughs> so good God, this is very serious. Well, just remember, Loretta, this is a concept named after the city that invented the cheese steak. <laughs> something that nobody in his right mind would willingly ask for. And I just thought I was having a very bad day. Sure. Millions of people have spent entire lifetimes in Philadelphia and never even knew it. I mean, look at the city of Philadelphia itself. Hopelessly trapped forever in Philadelphia. And do they know it? Well, okay, well, what should I do? Should I just kill myself now to get it over with? Well, you could try to kill yourself in a Philadelphia, but yeah, it'd probably just get hurt, babe. Uh, <laughs> so what do I do? Best advice? Wait it out. Hopefully, someday the great cosmic train will whisk you out of the city of brotherly love and off to someplace happier. Uh huh. Well, you're pretty goddamn mellow today, aren't you? Yeah, well, everybody has to be someplace. Is your name Holly Robertson? Why, it is indeed. That was a phone call for you? Your boss. Okay. He says you're fired. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, did he just say that you got fired? <laughs> uh, Holly, you loved your job. No worries. Uh, how can you be so calm? Easy. <laughs> you're on Philadelphia? 
Well, I woke up in Los Angeles, and life is beautiful. <laughs> you know, Dan packed up and left me this morning. Oh no, Dan left you. And frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a shit. I say go, and God bless, and may your dating pool be Olympic size. Um, <laughs> okay, but okay, but your job, the fashion district, is your life. So I'll turn it into a script and sell it to Paramount. Throw in a little emotional blah blah blah, a little romance. Pitch it to Marilyn Susie. You got yourself a chick flick with a fashion background. <laughs> Not relevant enough? We'll throw in the hole in the ozone, make it EC. Uh, EC? Environmentally correct. Have you heard about this hole in the ozone? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Loretta, I love this concept. I embrace this ozone. Ah, uh, sure, some people are gonna get hurt, but in the meantime, the rest of us will tan a little faster. <laughs> so this is a Los Angeles. Yeah, well, everybody has to be someplace. <clears throat> wow. You want my advice? Enjoy your Philadelphia. Sit back, order yourself a beer and a burger, and chill out for a while. Okay, but I can't order anything. Yeah, sure, life is great out there for you on the cosmic beach, tanning and shit. But whatever I order, I'm gonna just get a, a cheese stick or something. Nah, nah, nah. There's a simple rule of thumb to being in a Philadelphia. Ask for the opposite. What? Well, if you can't get what you ask for, ask for the opposite and you'll get what you want. If you can't get the daily news, ask for the times. You want pastrami, ask for tongue. Oh. It works great with men. I mean, what's more opposite than the opposite sex? <laughs> Water. Water? We don't have water. Oh, we don't get water. What is it? 
could be worse. I've been in the clean all the week. <laughs> What's that like? It's like death. <laughs> With all the advantages. <laughs> well, can I stand? Don't mind if I do. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I hope you won't reveal your name. Jean-Philippe. Oh, au revoir. Bon espoir. Oh, oui, merci. Ah, yeah. Everybody has to be someplace. So. Ah!